Alright guys, Fitz back here for yet another cast here, and um, I will not be joined by anyone today, so let's get right into this cast here. We have our orange Protoss here spawning here in the bottom right. He is Sushi Knight here, or better known as his other AKA, uh, referenced in my other in my uh, other, in the last bit VOD, so I don't remember off the top of my head anymore. But anyway, um, he's around a C plus Protoss. I think he's almost over through the barrier, almost to uh, B minus. So, congrats to him. And uh, too bad for BMW not being able to join us here because I am uh, casting his clan member. Um, excuse me for my uh, if I sounded really awkward right there. I was uh, a little congested right there. But anyway, he is our red. Uh, Terran, he is International Federation of Untouchables. Cryoc here, who just had an astounding play last game, just had really, really in-game sense and took Sushi Knight out. But uh, by no, by no means is Sushi Knight out of this game here. He had a very creative style, very much as the cast today have have been. Um, absolutely great play. So I'll be very interested. the The map is Aztec, so. Um, the map looks a little odd um, when you first look at it, but pretty much what you need to know is it's a reverse ramp. So sometimes you'll you'll have more expand-oriented builds to come out. But at this high of a level, I'm not. I, I think it might be safe to assume that players might be starting to use that kind of knowledge to themselves. So I mean, I wouldn't be put it behind. Maybe like a, a two gate could be an option, uh, but not anymore because he just took gas. But I'm just saying it could be an option. And there is this area over the natural that is siegeable on both bases. So sieging right here could pretty much cancel up probably up to this one, I believe, if I remember correctly here. Um, or on this base, probably all the way down to this one. So it makes it really difficult to deal with. And the other thing is if you put the tanks far enough back, that the Dragoons can't actually, actually attack them. So you actually have to elevate your way up there. So that's very, very high potential for that being able to happen here. The other most notable feature of this map is these small ramps. Um, Either or, if you're containing as Protoss, um, I wouldn't. But I also would expect. Um, I think either a two gate uh, pressure with goons or a one gate expands very, a very fair option for Sushi Knight here. Just because if you you can set up a contain very well with, with a two gate goon, or you can just take your own expand um, if you'd like to, because it's a fairly safe natural to secure. It's not too difficult to hold off. So. I think I pretty much over. I think I pretty much analyzed the crap out of this map. Pretty much for you to get the general consensus of how this map operates. Um, so yeah. Now Cryoc is actually doing more of a one base style right here. Now does he put down the second fact, or is he just gonna do like an FD push into expand? It's probably the most like. At least in lower leagues, that's how it goes down a lot of the time. Now again, these guys are higher level, so we'll have to. See. But the same principles apply from whatever kind of level you're watching. The same builds are executed. They just might be performed a little bit more optimally for timing-wise. But otherwise, it's pretty much the same game. And micro and stuff like that. But anyway, okay, so the SMB is actually going to get right in. He's going to find out that it's going to look like it's going to be a one gate expand here. Got to finish up that range here. So he knows it's not going to be like a four gate all in or three gate into robo or something like that. It's not... He just knows it's going to be a simple macro-oriented build. He doesn't, in response to this, I would probably want to just end the game outright. Because he's like, oh, he's getting greedy. He's going, um... That. But this map, though, I mean, to be fair, it's, you know, fairly... The rush is, is kind of long, so I think it's fairly safe to go, you know, a gate expand on this map. Again, it's a totally fine option here, because I don't think Terran's really going to be able to do too much after this push anyway, and he's even going to lift off the barracks after, what, five marines? Yeah, okay, so he's not going to get six. He's not going to get four. He's going to get five. We have a pylon at the third. Um, peculiar, maybe proxying tech or something like that. I, it, I would, If you're going to proxy tech, I'd put it, like, here or something. Or in, like, the the other main altogether, but... Alright, so he's going to be pushing across the map. He's going to have a vulture, you know, trailing behind with spider mine tech just finishing, so... Uh, we have one goon, and he's not picking off anything, so that might be because range is not done, but it is, so... Oh, look at this. He's actually going to go down the optimum other ramp here. 
And again, that's going talk about the ramps here. If you if you wall that area off, there is a second ramp, thankfully, but it's just a little further off. And uh, these goons need to start picking up these marines here, um, or at least I hope they do, because then uh, Sushi Knight will have a, a, a bit of an easier time to deal with this. But he's up to four ga uh, four goons right now. Uh, he's trying to micro back the goon, but due to dumb AI, it just died. But it uh, looks like this push has been thwarted. But uh, in I don't think he was actually really there to accomplish too much. Um, because one, he's going to want to expand here. Two, he allowed himself to get up to starport tech, which I didn't see. So he's going to be going for a drop. So even though this didn't do too much, he's going to have a run by. No. Um, I wouldn't do it on the natural. I'd do it on the main, which is probably what he's going to be doing. He's probably just going down here to pick up that Vulture. He's going to pick it up. And uh, he's probably going to see it back at home. I like this by Krylock. It's very interesting. I've never seen this kind of opening before. Very 111-esque uh, from StarCraft 2 or 111 at all. I'm not sure if a 111 is standard in in uh, Protoss vs. Terran or standard at all in Brood War. But uh, he's definitely utilizing it to uh, the full trick right here. He says, like, well, why FD push didn't work? Well... I'm not going to go all in, I'm just going to go tech to start for tech, and why not? Let me get some probe kills right here, not too bad. Nice reaction though by Sushi Knight right here, minimalizing the, the damage being done here. Um, but also nice for Croc though, he's still getting a couple just straight um, probes right here. And I think he's even target firing too, so he's going to put up Spider Mines just to be a jerk. And um, yeah, these, he, he may just, uh, no. She just left them to die. The life of a vulture would never be fun. <laughs> Uh, but, yeah, so he's going to be able to clean this up. Um, so, yeah. Just looking back at home base, I mean, definitely it has done damage. But he didn't even lose the, uh, the, the, the dropship. And here we go, guys. Like I told you, he's going to siege this area. And, I mean, he's going super, like, heavy in the drop play right now. And um, on a map like this, hey... I, I'm surprised I haven't seen this earlier, and like I said, I wouldn't be behind these players to use map specific things behind them. I was thinking more of like a two gate, like, like expanding like an FV, um, but uh, not as why I did that. But anyway, but this is what I'm talking about, like actually utilizing this, this ledge, and look at that, they're immediately going through. So immediately when he mine, when he has to do the main base for mining, he now has to do it, do the same, and this is exactly what I was talking about earlier. Putting them so far back goons that can't range them so he has to elevator he has to force out robo force off a shuttle and it looks like sushi and i just never realized that um there was one version of this map though that was edited and i don't know if aztec is actually a korean map or if it was a uh a foreigner map but either way um, I did see a version that this wasn't actually exploitable, um, and it was beyond me. They, they just filled in the gaps here, but, uh, like I was saying before, um, they're going to say that when they, while they were back here, they couldn't, they couldn't hit the forge. And apparently, it's just going to go for a, a pylon, um, of all things, but, hey, whatever you want to supply block your opponent, that's what you do. And Terran Academy's going down, um, has gone down, so he has comps that available for scans if he likes to. Now, if I was Sushi Knight here, I would do maybe one of two things. And look at this. Cryok even unseaged his tanks there. Like, this is perfect play by Cryok here. Not only that, though, it has stalled Sushi Knight so long. And it's not like, you know, Sushi Knight's done anything really incorrectly. It's just Cryok's just really, really gotten to the point where he's like, yo, dude. I'm just gonna do this to you and just stuff. I mean, granted, um, not to be hyper hypocritical, hypocritical of of uh, Sushi Knight's play, because um, I don't want to get people raging again. But um, not even like that. Um, I think I was a little inflammatory in my past cast. If you guys are, don't know form referencing, apparently I had like a couple people saying that was a little too inflammatory. You know, a little too mean. I guess I would say it. Um, so I'm just going to try to be a little bit nicer here. But what I think what Sushi Knight could have done, it w which would have reacted a little bit better, is just put the two Zealots or four Zealots in there in general. I'm not sure if he had as many, but it's just something to think about. And again, he's just doing so many draw plays. It, it's it's fantastic. It is absolutely Cryoc, man. You are a, a fiend. And Sushi Knight is having a very difficult
single time getting to and from this because uh, remember the goon AI is not that smart not only that though this base is not really meant to be going in and out of and I'm not quite sure if Cryak like oh saw that or something but just generally looking at this I mean goon cannot get behind the mineral line you couldn't initially do that anyway so you have to go all the way around this you can they can only go like what single file maybe you know double file but they line up anyway they only go in there single fi file file and at this point in time, we're 10 minutes in this game, and Protoss is only off of two base. And putting that in perspective, I think a 9.30 timing is when you normally get um, a base. And I... Was that a third base he was going to take? Because he put down a pile and not a Nexus. I'm hoping you realize that. I, I hope that's just a scouting one for drop play. And that probably would make sense. He's just looking for some drop play. Um, but... You know, even if Cryok is, like, super smart, he may even just anticipate those going down, so he's not even going to do any more drop play. Or he's just going to kill it. Either way. So, Terrence is not taking another expansion right here. He's gone. He even put a Zelda up here, but that just died. And we have another engagement, I think, over here. No, we're not. Um, This is where Sushine may just want to eventually just stop playing a macro game and just, just go for an attack here. Um, I'm just, I want to look back at home base. I mean, this is a good, good amount of army, though, anyway. And I guess the only option, really, right now is that Cryok, I mean, all the other Tushin I can really do is just try to macro out of it at this point. Because if he pushes, I, I'm afraid he's not going to be able to push through this thing. And he's just going to go for a hard push here. And... This is going to do a lot of damage, if not end the game. So, I mean, beautiful play by Cryok in general. I'm, I'm really digging that opening here. Now, I don't think it would work on every map, but a map like this, totally. Um, because I, you can't really siege up a natural as well. You can do it on the Aztec. So, very, very, very awesome map specific build order. Something that you may want to replicate for yourself if you're watching this just to get better. Or if you're on a tournament and you're on Aztec, I mean, if you're Terran, um, even against Zerg, it can work. Um, I mean, if you're going biomech, you could always just put down tanks here. But anyway, let's get back to this game here. It looks like oh, we're going to have another drop coming into the main base right now. Um, Cryok loves these doing these drops. They're finally putting down cannons. Um, but sometimes cannons are you, isn't even the, the greatest option because then there's tanks that just see each other. For vultures, yes, it's great. But still, four vultures can get a rack up a lot of kills really quickly here. But I think this engagement is going to be a little bit more entertaining to watch. Anyway, so he's going to be going in here. He has quite a few Zelda right here. These tanks are stacked here. So these Zelda are going to do a good amount of damage on them. And he may just lose his army. Um, very nice uh, play by Sushi Knight. Yes, he's got to take out of those tanks right there. And if you haven't realized, I've been playing a little bit more before as because uh, I'm trying to just understand this game a little bit more. Um, I'm still, like, probably, like, E rank. I'm just still getting a little bit more competitive into it. And, man, I can tell you, though, when I was playing a, a Terran versus Protoss the other day, I can tell you, these things, even with plus one on Vultures, man, they do nothing to Dragoons. Like, they do, like, three damage or something like that. They just do not do damage to, to Dragoons. I, it's just bizarre to me. And this is actually interesting. Um, this is probably where a lot of Terrans actually end up doing. Um, I never start, talked about this in the early part of the game here, but when Terran can start sieging up in this central area part, it just makes it so difficult to be a Protoss player because then all of a sudden, like, you have no maneuverability. The whole map is able to put down turrets wherever you like, except for, you know, right here and right outside these expos. So you can't, like, might as well put, like, 40, 40 turrets, like, all outside your opponent's base. You have to put them more in the center. But, I mean, you can put tanks without any kind of Goliath coverage. And it can make it very difficult to get Arbiters out there. The only really way to get an Arbiter recall in the main base, um, really, is to go all the way around the map. And sometimes players just want to go right through the center. Sometimes, you know, it makes it very difficult. Not only that, though, I mean, if you put turrets over here, or you, or you could put, like, or like a depot or something like there, it makes it very difficult. And we have a fourth base coming up for Cryok here. We are having an attempt for a third base coming up from um, Sushina here. But he's still just leaving a Vulture there just to do damage to, um... They're doing five damage to this. I'll have you know. Five damage to cannons. I mean, again, I guess it's like... I don't know what kind of armor type or what kind of type a cannon is referred to. Like a small, big, or large. But these guys are doing five damage versus their, like, 20. Or 
20 plus 2. So like 22. They do their full damage to pros. I guess that's just small. And then the large, medium, and large. So I guess buildings count as large. I want to say. But Cryok is looking very dominant right now. And Sushi Knight's really going to have to figure out how to engage as well. Because... Well, I mean, that army is not going to take this on. I mean, he's even trying to get air control. Man, he's getting he's getting Wraith. Okay, well, he's getting Wraith. He's getting... Is that... Okay, so he's getting double upgrades. He's getting EMP. I mean, he's getting all of his tech out and he's getting up to 152 supply. He's not taking the center like... If he if he, he if he sees in the center of the map, this wouldn't work. Um, because if you end up taking this ramp over here, then really Protoss can't really engage well because... Then all of a sudden they're pushing out two ramps here. Now this is definitely a more favor um which which ramp? Right over here. If they end up like sieging over here, it makes it very difficult here. But is there enough for for Sushi Knight to really do anything? This is kind of just like maybe a desperation time by Sushi Knight just to see what he can do or just to see what's going on here. But in the end result of sending all these units here, but actually there's not tanks in position here. He's just starting to move his tanks over there to deal with this. But maybe the goons can loop around and do some damage, guys. Um, the tanks are not going to be in position to deal with this. At least not not too many. And, um, yes, he's going to be able to get in the natural. Maybe do some damage here. Um, but will there be enough to, you know, intercept this stuff? It looks like it is. Um, being a little bit too excited. No, but there's four vultures there. So they're going to be able to do some damage on the natural expansion here. This is something that he absolutely needs to do. Sushi Knight has found a way to harass Cryok. Um, and... I mean, at least for the economy that's not mining right now, so it's somewhat of a moderate big deal. Eight SCVs have been killed off right there. So, for all of you trading the army, was that effective enough? That's for you guys to decide there. And, um, you know, I don't quite know what Sushi Knight, again, can do. I mean, he's done good harass. It's just getting to the point where he's... It's just going to be hard to, to deal with a four-base Terran. I mean, he's up one base, and... Sushi Knight's gonna want to take another base there, but let me look at this. He already has Spider Mines in position. The only base that's really an option that's really not covered by Cryok at the moment is that uh, this base over here. It's not really a clock position, it's just kind of in the center of the map here. The problem though is it's so vulture, you know, you know, harassable, stuff like that. And it even looks like Sushi Knight's gonna want to take an expand here, and I totally agree with this, but there's a Spider Mine in position, you know, and. Can make it very difficult. Um, so we're we're gonna have to find out, man. And it's one of my intro songs. It's just somehow got in the shuffle. But anyway, do 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 do. You know what he might do? He might just put down a cannon or something. And done. Now I was thinking about this map for a second. This map is, in, is kind of like the same way for carriers as it was for uh, snipe, uh, for Bloody Ridge. Where in some positions that carriers would actually be very effective against Terran. But then, because like these ridges right here, this whole, the main center definitely not. But, I mean, if you go around the sides here, but oh my goodness, look how much red there is. 2-2 two, two mech compared to 1-1. One, one. Alright, let's see if um, Sushi um, Knight can even do anything. It looks like he's just gonna GG immediately. He just sees all that damage, all that stuff being there, and wow. So, great game. Um, well, that will conclude Group G. So we're gonna go into our last group, guys. Round of 32 is coming to a close. Um, man, it's been fun. I mean, it's been about two days of pretty consistent casting, um, and these later matches um, in the later groups have been absolutely entertaining. I have been thrilled. You guys should be thrilled. These, I mean, the past. You know, three series, th four, or no, two or three, I'm not sure of what I've casted so far, have been phenomenal. So, guys, I'm happy. Hope you guys are happy. Hope you guys are enjoying the casting. Hope you guys are enjoying whatever. And, fit side out, we're going to go on to Group H, guys. And, uh, shout out to the Shimmy for running his awesome tournament here because we've gotten some pretty epic games, guys. And, peace.